So you you done you 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 done high school. You're 18. I, it's legal for me to talk to you without your parental consent, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> I was worried about that at first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Eli Shu, Mr. N N W A M T B. Yes, How sir. You doing? That's me. I'm good. Just uh, crazy stuff, man. I didn't even know if I'd make it home on time. It's the traffic, man. Keeps getting oh, worse. No. I feel you. I was in, I was I'm in Miami. I was stuck in it big time. Oh man, yeah, it's rough there for sure. <laughs> but you're so young. You what? Would you just, you just graduated high school, right? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, I've got, I've got a lot of businesses that I run kind of on the side, and, you know, to just, you know, um, grow them all over time. And uh, so I'm not going to college, if you couldn't tell. Um, my original plan was to just grow that end up to be stuff and just get sponsorships and uh -huh. just run it off of that and make a living and, you know, start traveling. Like, like I was going to pack up in a van and start doing that like those guys do. Like by myself, I was like, "How fun would that be?" You know, it, it's really? like it's really a dream these days. You know, um, but then I got the opportunity to start my own clothing company, which is what you see behind me. All that equipment, yeah, um, a really big, super nice printer over there that prints directly onto a, a piece of film, and then that film goes onto a T-shirt um, and creates. Well, not this. This is sublimation, but uh, shoot. I'm what? Uh, so, what was it like? What What did it feel like to to finally grab, because I'm 50 years old. It's uh -huh. it's been a minute for me. What well, to finally walk across that stage and your whole life has been school. Yeah, it, it was it was crazy because not only was I like completely done. Um, I go to I went to a, a private school, which means most of the kids there are going to college compared to a public school. Yeah. So I was the only person walking across that stage who was finished with school you know which was it was crazy to me you know it, it just feels it just feels different for me because them they're like okay now i gotta prepare for college i'm like dude i'm done i'm free <laughs> you know like <laughs> let's go make some money that's let's what i want to do you got so, a dream and you're going for it uh, yeah yes, sir. God, that's admirable that is so admirable it took me yeah. 50 years ago you know what i want to just start doing my own little thing and it's little mm. it's a little youtube page mm. it's mine. yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, so you you done you 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 done high school. You're 18. I, it's legal for me to talk to you without your parental consent, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> I was worried about that at first. <laughs> but um, so you live in you got the NWA MTB, mm -hmm. Northwest Arkansas. Correct. Did you have? Were there any? uh copyright infringements uh did anyone come after you no sir no sir i i i believe i don't know if i ever checked for the nwmtd but everything else i've always checked and i did i do believe we did check nwmtd no i was Although, just talking uh, about the nwa there was there was some rap oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well since yeah my dad's the first one to mention that funny enough yeah. um but it's you know it's not just nwa he also has the mtv so therefore it yeah. would be copyright infringement because when I first saw your page, I'm like, is is all his videos going to be to rap? I didn't I didn't pick up <laughs> that it was Northwest Arkansas at first. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, <you're>, that's, that's <laughs> I was going to say you're from there. Yeah, I've lived here my whole life. I was born in Rogers, which is right next to Bentonville, um, and pretty much grew up there, just in the cities around. You know, moving over time, and still live here today. I've watched you know slaughter pen from slaughter pen phase one you know it's it's crazy i remember going there as a kid seeing all the little features and stuff you know there's there was just a lot of little skinnies that you could ride and uh -huh. i was obsessed with them so well, it, now you're you said you're near bentonville Did, were you born with a mountain bike in your hand or sitting no. up one or no mountain biking was not quite as big when i was born here obviously yeah. Um, and funny enough, I hated mountain biking as I was growing up. My dad would take me out mountain biking in Blowing Spring, which is in Bella Vista. Uh, and I hated it to death. I hated it so much because he 
he took us on these just cross country trails. It's just an exercise. You're just pedaling what feels like forever as a kid. That's boring. You know, you don't yeah. want that. And I, you know, I hated it for a while. And then, uh, but you know, still as a kid, I would ride my bike around the neighborhood all the time, jump curbs and stuff like that. Yeah, we all did. No, yeah, exactly. You know, you're going to, you would love jumping in the air. Um, and then one day I just, uh, you know, just had a, I had a, still had a bike. I always had a bike growing up, I guess. Yeah. It's, and, and a decent one, one that could get me out on the trails if I wanted to. But one day I just, uh, I rode the Greenway all the way from Mercy Hospital in Rogers, which is where, sort of where I live, where Pinnacle Hill, Pinnacle Hills Mall, people will know that. I'm just trying to say things that people who are around the area will know. Yeah. I would ride the Greenway, uh, you know, which is the dedicated Greenway, all the way to Slaughter Pen in Bentonville, uh, right after school. I'd ride like two trails in Slaughter Pen and try to jump as much as I can. And then I'd ride all the way back to get home for dinner. Um, mm-hmm which is crazy that you have a dedicated path that I could ride that far on, you know, and I've rode even further than that now into Springdale just for fun going the opposite direction. So it's, it's, it's crazy that I had even the opportunity to do that. And that was before I could drive. So yeah, when it really took off was whenever we got to online school and I could drive, that was right when I could drive um, about three weeks after I started driving was whenever everyone went into lockdown. But here in Arkansas, you know, Corona wasn't a huge thing yet. No one really? was in our area. So, so, you know, everyone was out riding to the point, to the point where All American, uh, which is a really popular trail in Slaughter Pen, uh, there were people, so many kids there every day riding it that they closed the trail because it was too popular. They were worried about people getting Corona. Yeah. Which is just no, the most we- ridiculous. Thing. All our trails down here, all our parks, everything was closed. Really? That's I couldn't, crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't mountain bike for a year. You want people to be outside whenever there's a, a disease going around that transmits like it does, you know? You know what's never- funny is we couldn't, we couldn't go to the trails, but you could ride on the street. And there's a million people in the street. There's a bridge that goes to my trail. I'm, five, I'm eight miles from a trail. And mm-hmm. I sometimes I'll ride there on my bike. And the bridge, there was people walking everywhere on the bridge. And you're like, well, why don't you close the bridge? Mm-hmm. It, we called it COVID logic. There was no logic at all during COVID. Yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you really got into it during COVID? Yeah. So I would just ride that same jump pretty much every day, trying to get better at jumping. And then, uh, you know, I just started riding more. And then eventually, I mean, I've always loved filmmaking. I'm a, I guess I should get into that yeah. now. Um, let me talk about my how we've talked about the mountain biking up to this point. So let's talk about the the YouTube stuff. So my first YouTube channel was started when I was in fourth grade, and it was about Lego videos. I made videos about Lego reviews and building Legos and Lego skits and all that. And so Is that's that when it all started. Like? No, it's not. It's not. Oh. <laughs> That was the first thing that I started doing. Uh, you know, I've, I've always had a passion for just making videos and stuff. And then, uh, you know, that didn't work out eventually. So I moved on to just trying to make normal stuff, like spontaneous stuff, like uh, you'll see a lot of YouTubers doing these days. Uh, that didn't catch on a ton. It, it started to, but before, you know, it didn't catch on enough, I guess, is what you could say. Yeah. So I started doing trampoline videos. I was obsessed with trampolines. And I could I got to the point where I could do double front flips, double back flips, and all that. Uh, that didn't catch on either. And then that brings us to when I started making videos about mountain biking. So one day I was like, you know, I love this mountain biking stuff, and I, I think I could really do well making videos on it. So yeah. I decided that, you know, one day I'd final, I finally got a camera, uh, which was – GoPro Hero 9. Oof. I think I got it for Christmas, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it for Christmas. And that was when it all started um, with the with the POV stuff. Oh, that's funny. I, my, I, I started with the Hero 2. Again, I'm a lot older than you. Well, we also, yeah, I do have all those, too, because we, we take skiing trips and we, we still have those cameras. Yeah. 
Those but it's are- funny, our, our Facebook memories, I'll pop, one popped up yesterday of me mountain mm-hmm. biking in uh, Teton Vill- Village in Jackson, Old Wyoming. And you could tell the really bad, the, 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 the vibrating of it clipped to the handlebars. Uh, yeah. And it, it, there's no stabilization. Hey, I still use the, the Session 4 right now. Really? Because wow. I, I love how small it is because I, I, you like filmmaking. I'm actually a professional videographer. Mm. and and that's what i do for a living and i still i can get that thing in so many different places that's awesome that it's really cool but yeah it's fun so you don't have the trampoline video still nope you just kind of had this youtube page and then you just keep redoing it taking stuff down and redoing it yeah well sometimes i get banned but that's that's a story for another time i guess (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> violating community guidelines. And I also forgot to add one more channel that I started was a vending machine one. So I, I still have these vending machines um, locally, but uh, you know, I take, I just have little vending machines, like the ones you put the quarter in and get the uh-huh. balls and all that. Um, I put them in restaurants and I'd go and make videos about me pulling the money out of them. People love seeing money and you're getting money. So I did that too. That, that kicked off the most out of anything. Uh, but eventually I just, uh, decided to change it to the mountain biking from that. The vending machine. I've watched quite a few of where they, they someone will buy something and they'll they'll have like a Coke machine or there or mm-hmm. something like that, and they'll they'll rip it open and there's like wads of cash and yeah, yeah. It's amazing what people are watching these days. Yeah, <laughs> it's like time sure. killers. Yeah, definitely. It was, yeah, it was. Uh, it, it just got repetitive, I guess. You know. Uh, so I just decided to move on to the mountain bike. And you live and in those, like... I do, those are the videos I still have, actually, but they're unlisted on my channel right now. So you can't oh. see. Yeah. I, you're, now you live... I had no idea. Like, you think of mountain biking, you think Colorado, or you think out west where there's, like, mountains. Mm-hmm. Again, people don't think that there's mountain biking in Miami. Yeah. There's, there's incredible trails down here. Yeah. yeah. Very technical. Uh-huh. But I had no idea. Ar- I've never been to Arkansas, so I don't know anything about Arkansas. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're the mountain biking capital of the country. Yeah. Like yeah, you say it, you're yeah. next to Bentonville. That's like the place. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's even the surrounding areas, you know, I'd say more than Bentonville itself. You know, it, I'd say Bentonville's built the most to be bike friendly. Mm-hmm. And in terms of, you know, um, the police and the people all being, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, being lenient on the rules and stuff in terms yeah. of parking and all that. Cause you know, parking gets full uh, in Bentonville, you, you know, you can kind of just park in spots that you usually aren't supposed to, and no one's going to care. But in Bella Vista, which is right next to Bentonville where the back 40 is, no sugar, you know, you park down a neighborhood street and you'll get towed in an instant. It's crazy. What? Um, uh, so you started around that 15, 16? Making the mountain biking? Getting into mountain biking? I made the mountain biking videos, I think, right when I was about to turn 17 was when I first posted. Uh, well, yeah, that was about a year ago. Yeah, I could see that. I, I go back. I like to do those, those deep dives. Yeah, yeah. Are you making oh, the backyard man. trail with your buddy? Yeah, that was a long time ago. And you can see the like the evolution of my editing too. And I, I honestly sometimes like the way I used to edit more than I do now because I just spend a lot more time on it before. But, you know, I'm hoping to be able to spend more time. It's just, it's difficult. Like I said, I have a lot going on. I've got, I still have the running machines. I have a clothing brand that I'm trying to run, which I'm actually, I've got to show you some people. Um, yeah. We're, yeah making, I, we're making a kid's mountain biking line. Yeah, I was going to get to you on the, some of that, but there you. Is. I just, this, is, this is just a test print. Um, but it's a little kid on a Strider bike um, with his feet in the air. You know, it says mindset matters because, you know, the mindset you have going into a jump is going to be dependent on whether you succeed or not. Yeah. That's a, so. I was going to say, we'll, 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 we're going to, you know, hopefully get to a lot of stuff. Um, 
There's a lot going on. Man. Yeah, but do, 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 I was getting back to when you first started. Do you, what was that first bike of yours? Oh, uh, man. Sounds like you've had a lot, huh? No, no, really. I've had probably two bikes. I'm trying really? to think. Let me go real quick. Let me go back to that video. <laughs> Cause I, I once as soon as I see it in the video, I'll know which one it is. When I when I first started, I kind of had this hardtail that I used. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. So by the time I started making the YouTube videos, I had already gotten my full suspension bike, which is the bike that I still have today. And what, you, what giant, is it? It's a Giant Stance Twenty Twenty. Okay. Um. The only difference between then and now is that the bike is custom painted for my YouTube channel. Nice. So you'll see NWMTV all over the bike with a gradient that's just like the colors of my logo. So I'm still using the same bike today that I used when I started making new videos. Started the new videos. Now, th that's funny. Like, you're a YouTuber in Northwest Arkansas. And I just, again, I always joke with the people in, in, in California because I feel like they just breed YouTubers <laughs> out there. Yeah. Do you have a huge community of YouTube mountain bikers out there that you like? Not at all. Not really? All. There's one other guy here that I would say creates content uh, and, you know, is making money off of it. And his name's Rich Drew. He's got somewhere around, he's between 50 and 100K. I have no idea where. I've really seen him in a while. But uh, I, I see him out on the road and stuff sometimes. Yeah. And I, um, back when we first started, we wanted to do, we, we, I went up and talked to him, you know, saying that I had a channel and stuff, you know, he saw it and said he wanted to do a collab, but he just got super busy literally right after that and has never stopped being busy because you know, he doesn't just do the YouTube stuff. He's doing, you know, skills clinics. He's a professional writer. So, um, yeah, I follow him as well. I'm the only other guy and, you know, he's too busy to make a video with, so it's just me unless someone comes in from out of town and says hey let's make videos which happens occasionally but uh i wish it would happen more i wish uh the bigger youtubers would would you know uh reach out to me instead of rich drew or something because whenever gmbn global mount Bike network came to uh -huh. arkansas they reached out to him uh, obviously because he's the bigger youtuber but you know sometimes the ones who are smaller are going to be more honest with you about everything you know yeah I feel like Rich is kind of just paid off sometimes by Oz Trails. You know, I don't want to start any controversy, but no, <laughs> I don't want to start any conflicts on this channel. But it's it's a great community, though. You've got a great great group of people that you ride with. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got some really good buddies that I that I hop on the trails with, and I'm I'm sponsored by an e bike rental company now, so I get to ride uh, an e bike um, pretty often. Uh, and just go out and do whatever I want with that, you know. What's your favorite? What What is your What is your favorite place to ride? I see a lot of the rail yard. Really? That that that's not where I. And I've recently, the most, the most the place I've made the most amount of videos is in Slaughter Pen for sure by yeah. a lot. I think there's somewhere between twenty and twenty five riding videos from that place. Yeah. Um. It looks so fun out there. Everything looks so well made. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, Slaughter Pen is definitely good. It's got a lot of variety. It's very convenient, but uh, it makes you get out to other places less often because it's just so good, you know. Yeah. So, How, what I, kind I'd of have, distance are you from it? Uh, ten to fifteen minutes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and I used to be even slightly closer about 10 minutes before i moved but now do you still ride with your dad no i've never <laughs> ridden oh you mean back okay yeah, so, back in the day he took you riding you didn't like it so you're like, okay dad uh, yeah, this, is where this, this is where the story gets sad so my dad was an avid road biker um oh. and and he did that forever he did the harder than hell hundred in texas and the triple bypass in colorado uh, you know, he just loved road biking. He had a lot of buddies that did it, but unfortunately, uh -huh. he got in a road biking accident, and uh, uh -huh. he's now paralyzed from the neck down. Oh shit! Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, you Didn't know, know, no, it's good to talk about. Um, it, it happened 
probably five years ago, almost six years ago now, probably. I don't even remember, but you know, we're, we're past it now. Obviously he's still has the same job, believe it or not. He has the greatest, you know, the, the CEO of his company is the greatest ever. And so he just accommodated for him. And nice. my dad's obviously really good at what he does. He's a salesman. Um, he gets stuff into Walmart. So, you know, he's good at what he does and so good that his boss, you know, still wanted to keep him, even though he could not move anything above or below his neck, which is oh. the, the best part. Cause I think that's, you know, that's, if, if you can't keep your job after an, an injury like that, it's like, you know, what's the point to life almost, you know? Yeah. It keeps you going. Like, yeah. He's definitely made the most out of it. So have you ever been hit by a car? I don't want to bring that, you know, I don't you know. know. I, I've actually had a close call in Slaughter Pen, though. Um, you know, there's a lot of roads there, but a, a lady just, I, she was at, she had a stop sign. I didn't have a stop sign. I was just riding, but she pulled out right in, right in front of me. I, I would have went into the side of her car, and I should have, because then I could have pressed charges, but that's <laughs> <what> I, <laughs> no, uh, but I, I land on I stand on my brakes like anyone would, you know, to miss the car. Yeah, I asked that weird question because I was I actually got hit by a car uh, a few years ago. I forget how many years ago it was. And I was car was coming out. You know, they got to stop and wait for traffic to go. And I was going in front uh -huh. and I'm waving so they can know like, hey. Yeah, a big thing is definitely eye contact. With drivers. And I'm sitting there waiting and I'm waiting never to, and just hit the gas. Luckily, I was close enough to the front of the bumper that it just swept me up onto the hood. Yeah. And I'm yeah. banging on the hood. And they finally stopped in the middle of the road. I slid off the hood, landed on the, on the, on the, in the middle of the street. Everyone stopped. Yeah. Picked up my bike through it, angry as all get out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just, the guy gets out of the car, starting. I'm like, back off. Back <laughs> away from me, man. I was like, right. Finally, I calmed down. I said, look, dude, promise me. He goes, I'm sorry. And I said, I said, look, I'm fine. You're fine. Car may be a little scratched up. I said, just promise me you look both ways. There are people yeah. running on this street. There's people, you know, riding bike. Mm. And yeah, it's a scary, it's a scary feeling. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, definitely. Eye contact is a huge thing to anyone who's still young. If you're watching this, make eye contact with drivers. You know. and, and stupid, stupid thing that happened. It was three days before. No, three days after that. I got kicked in the stomach by a horse. Oh, I mean, full on both hooves to the bread basket. Knocked me back about six feet. I was, I was shooting. I had a gimbal and I'm shooting a horse. It was supposed to be a lame horse. And we were doing a story on it. Oh, and I guess he finally turned. He just turned around real quick and went. Fly. So that wow. was a good week. Was the, did the camera survive? <laughs> yeah. It was a gimbal, so it just kind of knocked me, it knocked it out of my hand. And wow. And did your bike get crushed on that from that car? Or no, it... nothing. It literally just swept me up onto the hood. With the bike or did the bike? With just the bike. Up? I just kind of went up with the bike. Do you hold on to? I, I ride clipless. Oh, uh, okay. Got so it. My feet were kind of I'm I'm gonna change that. I'm sorry. But no, yeah, everyone has their preferences. Yeah. I think uh I'd I really want. I really want to try the the magnetic clipless ones because I think those might be good for me. But I'm fine with my 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 flat pedals. So. I think I'm going flat because as I'm getting older, I worry more about falling. Mm -hmm. This hurts more than your 18 year old body when it falls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but so okay. So you got slaughter pin. You're next to Bentonville. You got the rail yard. We got Kohler. Kohler. Back 40. Little Sugar. Um, I think that's you all. Have, in. You have no shortage of, of making content is what you're yeah. saying. There's there's no reason why you're not making content other than being an incredible entrepreneur. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a lot. in that's my immediate area pretty much. But, you know, as soon as you go outside of that small radius, there's tons more. You know, I can't even name them all. I haven't even been to them all. That's the crazy thing. Like a lot of people will talk about Hop State Park and all the views there. And I'm like, I haven't been. <laughs> I ain't been. 
That's awesome, man. It's what a, what a great. So you just started making a YouTube page. Did you think while you were making it that, I mean, let's let me look. 5,000. I'm looking at, I was watching a video. You got 4,300, I mean, 4,300 views. I mean, did you think it was going to get, because this YouTube thing isn't easy mm. and, and you're, you're doing pretty good. No, it's, it's rough. And my biggest boost was from TikTok, actually. I don't know if you looked at TikTok, but I have 100,000 followers on TikTok. Really? Yeah, because of one video that I posted from the rail yard, actually. Um, and the full version of that is on YouTube. It's my most viewed video on YouTube with 22,000 views, somewhere around there. Uh, but the TikTok video got 8 million views. So it was me helping a kid who fell off his bike. Okay, you know, something simple as that, and and you know, I, I was just recording a normal YouTube video. I wasn't nothing was intentional, nothing was staged. Um, but now I'm best friends with that kid, and he looks up to me like crazy. Like, and I've seen him in you know more videos more recently, and I made a video with him. And so yeah, he's 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 just redder. He's gonna be oh my gosh, and his brother, they're both crazy good. So okay, so TikTok, I've yet to get on because I've actually taken a couple few weeks off of doing this just because this becomes a lot. Oh yeah. That's why I kind of got burnt out on YouTube. That's why you see me not posting a lot recently. It's just even the Instagram keeping up with that. I mean, I've got oh, a full time yeah. job. I've got a wife. I've got two dogs. I've got a mortgage, you know, <laughs> it was like, I, I kind of needed a, I was kind of at a burnout. Yeah. There's definitely times that that happens and that's, that's okay. You know, but yeah, you just gotta find ways to, to change it up and make it exciting again. So do, do you think would you advise a guy like me? Because I do have content on the, the, the Instagrams. I actually have more people on Instagram than I do on this. Would you advise me to create on TikTok as well? Yeah, anything you're posting on Instagram. Let me so this is the way I think of it. So short videos are huge now. Yeah, there are, there's four platforms that you can you can post these short videos on. You've got YouTube Shorts, Snapchat Spotlight, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. So you make one short video, which would usually go on Instagram just once for a reel. Mm -hmm. You post that on all four platforms. You now have quadrupled your chances of going viral. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not doing the Snapchat. Yeah, no, that's that's something that you I'll know, do the three. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm start. I'm gonna look into the TikToks. Yeah, I'm saying you know, if, for anyone who's trying to go viral and get the most bang for their buck for their work that they're doing into their into their short videos, that's it. You know, like because you you have four chances to go viral from one video. Yeah put it out as many i've been listening to a lot of this gary v guy i don't know if you've listened to him yeah i'm very familiar with him i i i've watched a lot of his stuff yeah he i just i just kind of stumbled on him now now every time i swipe every time i i do the, this mm -hmm. one of his things pops up because that's how it works yeah he, he gives out good advice you know it's, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of what i'm saying here you know <laughs> it's kind of what he talks about you know maximizing Anything yeah. that do three or four uh, Instagrams a day, TikToks. The yeah. now imagine doing three or four of those and posting them on all four platforms. How yeah. crazy would that be? You know, you know, it, it's it's crazy. It's, it's so much though. I'm so tired. Oh, I know. It's definitely <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> now, here's the I'm thing, and, and you 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 did a you did a good transition into a question that I really wanted to. To talk about and and it's just, it's a lot in your I've seen this in your videos. You are a big champion, and, and it, if you will, and cheerleader of the youth that mm. ride. Mm. Yeah, where there's does that a, come from? Do you have younger lot. siblings or? No, I have one older brother. He's he's three years young, older than me actually, oh. but uh, I've always got along better with the kids that were younger than me because I like to mentor them. I guess in a way. Um, um, but also there's a lot of kids, um, 
that are sort of my age that are all cocky and think that they're better than everyone else. And, and so, you know, they'll just hate on everyone else around them. And so I'm here to set the example that, you know, that's not going to get you obviously, because look where I am and look where they are. <laughs> yeah. That's the word I like, like, like it paid off, you know, people saw how, how I led by example. And, and so they're, they're rewarding me for that. Like my sponsorship with the e-bikes, like no one, no kid gets to just hop on e-bike and, and ride that for fun, for free. Yeah. There's not, there's not many kids. Like they may, they may get they get on their parents every so often, but no kid owns an e-bike. That's super nice like that. Just that they didn't have to pay, you know. I think it's great. You were at the rail yard. And you were you were you were put, you're going along with some little itty bitty guy. Yeah, that's the kid that most likely that's most likely the one that uh, wrecked. Yeah, then he wrecked and, and you helped him up and you talked oh, yeah, him through yeah. it and yeah, it, it was such and I, I love I love seeing people. I live in Miami. We don't have a lot of nice people. I don't even yeah. care if anybody in Miami sees this and, I, and and says, "Oh no, they're." No, there's not a lot of nice people in my No, area. yeah, I understand that. And and I think I I I was so moved by that. Mm-hmm. Like you could have just rode past and been like, I'm making a video. You know, I got a YouTube page to keep up. Yeah. And I just thought that was so so incredible that uh, and, uh, and yeah. I see that in other videos of you that you've done is yeah, cheering kids on. No, I don't that's I'm not that's not morally okay for me to do that. You know? yeah. Now are you are you help. known at these places? Now, have you gotten to the point of being the one YouTuber? Uh, well, I've signed signatures, taken pictures with people, uh, been recognized well over 200 times at this point. Um, so I really leave, leave it up to you, you know. Yeah. I'll leave it up to you. How does that feel? Like you, you started this off as just like a fun little project with you know, you liked filmmaking, and all of a sudden you're like selfie <laughs> yeah well it, it definitely hit me whenever one time i met bkxc which is a big youtuber uh and you know we had a really good conversation because he wasn't he wasn't writing at the time but i met him but you know i, I love meeting the youtubers and, and talking to them with that brother in town you know i met single track sampler uh and a couple others but uh like he whenever he you know i started telling him about my channel and all that he, was, he said that they saw my videos whenever they were researching the area and, you know, before they came here, which was, which was crazy. Yeah. Know? And he ended up following me on Instagram. So I've got a verified follower and I've messaged him. That's how I got my whole camera set up. My, my most recent one with all the microphones and all that. I used to have yeah. the same setup as he does now because uh, I messaged him about it. You know, we had a conversation, which is yeah. just, you know, it's crazy that you get, you can, talk to those people i guess you know it, 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 he was one of my first interviews on this channel really brian yeah i did an interview with bkxc and i was such wow. a because i started watching you guys during covid because i'd go work i'd yep. go shoot my stories or do whatever and then mm-hmm. you you weren't allowed to move around the 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 office area so i just i would just go into my office yeah didn't have anything to shoot so i'd sit and watch YouTubers, mountain bike YouTubers like you and BKFC and a bunch of others. And that's where I came up with this idea. I was like, I, I want to meet these people. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I mean, I interview people for a living. I was an entertainment reporter for the longest time and I would interview celebrities. And that's I awesome. Like, I was what's like, the, what's the, what's the, I'll ask you a question. What's your biggest celebrity in terms of, you know, what do you think your biggest celebrity that you've interviewed is? Um, Hugh Jackman, Will Smith, wow, Jennifer Lawrence, wow, um, that's crazy. Gosh, uh, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Really? Yeah, just I, I was, I was a movie critic. Oh wow, that's for crazy. an entertainment show down here in Miami, and they would send me to go, you know, these junkets. Where you wow. go and inter- the movie comes out and you interview all the the actors that are in the movies. Mm-hmm. So, but COVID came and the movies died, and I just was like, you know, what? I want to do something I want to do. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, I loved doing that. Don't get me wrong; I did twenty some years of of doing it. But I was like, I want to, 
I want to do something where there's no rules. Mm -hmm. I get to wear a hat and a Mm t-shirt and just chit chat about something I love doing mountain biking. So, you know, but you're, you back to, back to BKXC is it, you're right. They're so uh, personable. They're so like, you think they're unobtainable. Yeah. But when he, he was like, sure, I'd love to hop on your, your thing and help you out. Yeah. Same thing with, well, same thing with GMBN. When I met them, they were all super nice, you know, uh, you know, they weren't pushing everyone back because they're these massive YouTubers from the UK. Or I believe that's where they're from. Um, you know, and I, I gave him my stickers before I left, uh, you know, said, hey, next time you're in town, we would love to ride with you guys, you know, make a video, you know, just letting them know that I'm available and putting myself out of my comfort zone by asking them that. You know? Yeah. Same thing what with BKC. I always tell them, you know, hey, if you ever want to make a video, I'm here. You know, I'm an expert on these trails. Now, did you did you hang out with Alex, a uh, single track? No, no, oh. I he, he was kind of brief. Um I don't know. It, it's 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 weird to say this, but he, he just didn't seem like he was in his best place when I met him. You yeah. Know? Like it seemed like he didn't really want the fame anymore. Yeah. That's why he stopped making videos. Oh. But it, yeah, it's weird because you know it's such a short interaction. You never know. I did get a picture, but you know he didn't make videos. Because he didn't make any videos in Northern Arkansas. So while he was here, but he was here. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it, it definitely was concerning, but uh, you just hope everyone's all right. You know? YouTubing is a weird thing because you're, especially what you guys do. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a big dumb animal that asks questions, but like the people that like them and, and you or whatever, so, some of these people really put their lives out there. Mm-hmm. And then when it doesn't, when they're like, they, they want the, and it's, it's just like any social media is, you want the best part of it. Mm-hmm. No, no one's putting the bad stuff on the YouTube. They're putting the good stuff. That's why we're watching it. Yep. And then, yep. you know, then all of a sudden you meet them and, and they're not, they're not in that YouTube mode, if you yep. will. Yep. So, but you love riding. You've been doing it for like a few years. That's what's amazing is that you, you're, you're killing it, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I definitely progressed pretty fast but i've definitely slowed down uh, over the past six months to a year even like you know i peaked no oh, i wouldn't say i peaked but you know when i hit drop the hammer that was huge you know but have hit anything bigger than that since so well you got things going on mister what <laughs> you got things going on you got life coming at you now you're not oh, in yeah. high school anymore oh i know yeah 100 percent uh yeah. And this is where I want to go off into that. Tell me about that because you you had posted a video of you walking us through your little room of of, of chaos and 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 clothing making. Yeah, so that's that's like I said, that's what's behind. Me, so. where, where 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 did that come from? Was that something that you've always thought about doing, or was it just like a you thought of you know one night you're laying in bed and hit you and um well. Uh, Technically, it would be a connection through mountain biking um, because there's a there's a, a buddy of mine. His name's Garrison. He's into the real estate scene locally, but uh, he had me working on an Airbnb. Uh, it, well, you know, I needed a job. I, was, I had no money. I was making the YouTube stuff, but making nothing off of it yet. Um, and so he hired me to build mountain biking trails down the, the driveway of this Airbnb that they were building. Um, and, you know, I, I had skid steers and excavators and all that at my disposal to use, which was right. crazy. And I was completely in charge of all of this. So I built, I built some pretty ridiculous things. There are videos on that, but only a few. Uh, I never got to making videos on uh, the rest of the features that I ended up putting in there. But um, eventually that lane got sold off because of the real estate market. So. Uh, he said uh, he had recently purchased a direct garment printing machine, which, you know, prints T-shirts uh-huh. uh, from a buddy. And he said, hey, I want you to build this business from the ground up. Here's all your stuff. Here's financial, whatever. Go for it. <laughs> really? So you were handed a, a business? Correct. 
<laughs> so what 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 are we looking at here? What kind of uh, clothing? What 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 brand? What uh? Well, the clothing brands. It? It, it, it's called, it's called Mindset. Uh, just randomly came up with it one day. We were we were going back and forth about making it about mountain biking and stuff. I was originally going to call it Nobby Apparel, but with a K, like K N O B B Y. And then like the, the 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 logo would have some like knobs from a tire on it and stuff. Yeah. I really like that, but it was it wasn't super easy to tell people about, I guess, as much. Um, but what I felt more passionate about was the mindset stuff. And it just came to me one day, like it's hard to watch an interview without someone talking about their mindset. Yeah. You know, like a successful person. If you as soon as you when you know to hear it, you hear it so much. And it's like, wow, this is really a huge thing but no one's ever capitalized on it. so i'm like perfect it's mindset we've got that yeah exactly so that's when i created mindset and, <laughs> and we can get this at mindset.com dot co co dot co yeah and without an i yes correct and is it's 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 t-shirts it's hats do you have jerseys it's, it's shirts and hoodies right now Okay. But like I said, we're working on the kids stuff right here, um, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we're also working on new uh, new trail system T-shirts. So Slaughter Pen and Rail Yard are now going to be turned into a trail system. And I'll send you that photo. I'll send you the photo to, to put on there, or the rough sketch of the Slaughter Pen one. But it's going to be amazing. And I'll, I'll just try to show it in the camera. But there's a rough outline of it. That's fine. And so that's just, that's all black and white. It's all going to be colored in, uh, super detailed. And then we're going to throw that on a shirt and sell it. You know, is that, is that the place where there's a castle? Yeah, they're building the castle right now. And that rough sketch doesn't have that castle in it, but there is an updated one that does have it. So, okay. Finished design yeah. will have that castle. Um, because there's another guy that I follow and, and we communicate greatly. His, his name's Jake. He's the backyard shredder. Yeah. Yeah. You know him? Yes. yes. Uh, that dude rips, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like oh. 11 years old or something. Yep. Yeah. He's like a little Remy Metier. Yeah, I've seen him before around, you know, but I don't think I've ever really talked to him. Uh, Let me grab one of these. Yeah, grab it, man. Let's. Let's it's talk clothing on. This is just off the shelf. This one is, it says uh, mindset is everything. So it's mindset and it's split and it says is everything right in the middle there. Um, you know, something simple uh, gets the point across, you know. Um, now, do, you, do you come up with the graphics? Do you, like, did you come up with your NWA MTB? And the this was, yeah, this was all created by me and my mom because she knows how to do graphic design and stuff. And oh, wow. I came up with the ideas for this. She kind of puts them into life. Um, but for our new designs like this, we've hired a professional graphic designer who just does it all from scratch. Oh, wow. Like, it's it's crazy, the amount of detail. I like the it, little dude with his feet kicked out. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he he took something that I had in my head and, and turned it into this perfectly. Like, this is exactly what I think in words, and he was able to just turn that into a picture, which is the most crazy thing I've ever seen. I really, I like the fact that you were so focused at such a young age. Where, where, the, where do you get that from? Like 18, I'm sitting there and I don't want to, I'm doing beer bongs. And, yeah. and you're like, <laughs> you're I like. I just told that today, you know, people saying, you know, this is what I was doing, you know, I'm at, at 18 and, I, and, you know, people tell me all the time, you know, man, if I was doing what you're doing at 18, I wonder where I'd be now. Yeah wasting my life away with drugs and stuff, you know. That's like it's just it's amazing. Where do you get that from, do you think? Um you know, I, I guess I'm just a, a natural entrepreneur. I have ADHD, which some people will say helps in some ways, but obviously in some ways it doesn't. Um but you know, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, doesn't. I, just a natural knack to want to to want to succeed higher than anyone else that's just always been in me and i guess it's kind of a moral thing too you know i just want to make the most out of everything and and uh you know i it's also me being under bosses and realizing that i don't want to have a boss you know 
So they always, I've always heard this is that you, you never really make money if you work for someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, not as much money as you could make. Yeah, exactly. If you go out and do your own thing and hopefully, and I wish you nothing but great success, but uh -huh. yeah, if you, if you're always working for somebody else, you're always going to be here. Mm -hmm. You're yep. never going to get there. Cause, cause when you're your own boss, you keep striving and and you can you can make your own yep. fortune. Exactly. You will. Yeah. But that's amazing. Is yeah, that you can see, look at my lap, this is my laptop right there? What? Now who came up with that the, the, your thumbnail there? Your your little MTB, NWMTB, the little circle that I, I love, I love your graphic. Yeah, that's uh I mean I kind of had the idea. It was kind of based off of the Oz Trails logo. It was originally more like the Austro's logo, but um, we changed the colors later on because we were just weren't a fan of the colors. So we wanted it to be more vibrant. So, because uh, I, I love, I even love your thumbnails on your YouTube page. Oh, those are yeah, those are just totally meant to grab your attention, but not be too clickbaity. People will call them clickbait all the time on Facebook. I'm like, dude, it it, it tells you exactly what's happening in the video. No, no, there's no clickbait. You're not uh, like no topless woman runs in front of me no yeah, exactly. it's, it's 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 the color this is where this is where i'm still learning after it's almost a year now yeah of doing this and and well, I, i'm i'm trying i'm trying so hard to get the right before it was just the two people it was me and whoever i was interviewing and then something you know a little witty thing underneath now i do the i, I do the to the, remove the background of the person that I'm interviewing yep. and yep. then blowing up some fancy, but you're coloring or something. It's like McDonald's. It makes you want to go get yourself a Big Mac. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, a lot of the learning that I did was watching other YouTubers that were successful in mountain bike. And one of the things I noticed was Seth Bike Hacks or Burn Peak. Yeah. As he's uh, I looked at his thumbnails and if you look at them now, you'll see, you'll see a lot of yellow. Yellow stands out arrows stand out and um so i i, I found a, a font color that i liked with the red around it and then i just the red arrow that's just classic what i have every time because it, it works and then i also um i'm also editing the photos to make them super vibrant because you don't yeah. you don't you're not editing this photo to look good on a portfolio you're editing it to be overblown so that it grabs someone's attention yeah. so it, you know I, I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to start sending you my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think you're, you're you're really good at what you do. And that's what, like, I don't remember what the first, because I've watched so much and and, and doing this, I've, I've had to watch even more. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, but I, I remember I, I, you were probably one, one of the guys that I've watched in 20, like two years ago. I, and, and this is, I sent, just threw it out into the ether. Hey, you want to do an interview? Because I was, I love your work. I loved your writing. I mean, it's just, it, I'm looking at it right now over you, but it's, it's, a, your writing is incredible. And what you do, it, it pulls people in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's really good. Now, when you started doing it and then when you got to your, your thousand, mm -hmm. like where you, you're like, Oh, man, this is this is starting to catch on. Like how how quickly did it catch on? Because like, you only been. If I, if I go back, it's been like a year. Was your first? Yeah, I'd have to go back on my analytics to look at that to see, you know, when it when it really started taking off like that. Let me. But were you like were you like some YouTuber? And I started doing this in the beginning, and I've learned to back off a little bit because it can be all consuming. Mm hmm. And I always call like dropping a video is, is it's birthday. And I can't for a while. When I first started doing, I was just like all day. If I wasn't working, I was like, how many more views do mm -hmm. I need to post another Instagram to tell people to watch it? Do I, you know, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Were, were you obsessed at first? Because, because when you put it out there, I mean, you're putting it out there to you, you want someone to watch it. Uh -huh. Um. Man, it's uh you were too busy thinking about a darn business, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was just trying to do it so I could 
um, my goal was to be able to live off of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so you were one of those, like, uh, like a BKXC, you were like, I'm doing that. Like he did that. That's what he did. He quit his job, bought a van and said, this is going to be my career. Yep. So you, you set out for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just really wanted to, I really wanted to. Cause you had the passion. Yeah. You got bit by the mountain bike bug. Yeah. So eventually, you know, looking at my statistics, it just started growing slowly over time. I was getting between one and three subscribers a day. And then, you know, that grew. And then eventually I bumped up to 5K in in a week because of that TikTok video, which is crazy. Um, I, got, I got to come up with a TikTok video. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the special thing about that video was just the nature of it, you know, it, it, it made people want to support you more, I guess, you know, yeah. like, they want to support people who are, who, who can still give them faith in humanity, you know? Yeah. Now, do you still feel the pressure of having to put out more content? Um, I wouldn't say I feel the pressure to, but, um, you know, I still get recognized all the time and I still have people telling me, you know, stories and how I've helped them and it, you know it makes you want to keep doing more it pushes you but ultimately it's like so overwhelming to, to do all that while I'm still trying to do other, the other business stuff you know so I kind of just switch back and forth yeah, you got your hand and mountain biking YouTube clothing yeah vending machines now I'm now I'm putting them together with this you know it's That's gonna be amazing. Hand clothing, you know. Now, entrepreneurs, you guys are obnoxious to me. Uh, you have more hours in the day than most of us. I feel like <laughs> my brother-in-law has a he's a he's a, a doctor and he has his own practice, but he has his hands in a bunch of other things. And we always joke that he has like thirty hours in a day. Yeah, well, I mean, I think most of it is just the fact that you know, we don't go home and use the rest of the day to sit on the couch and watch TV. We use it to, to do all the other stuff or keep running the business. That's the difference. You yeah. know, I, I've observed this over time, you know, between successful people and people who just are in the system like normal, they're the people in the system just come home and watch TV the rest of the night or, you know, hang out, which isn't a bad thing, but yeah. you have to sacrifice a lot in the beginning to be successful and even a lot after that, you know. And now do you find yourself in your downtime? Can you mountain bike without putting a, uh, a camera on your chest? Yeah, I, I do it all the time. Uh, a lot more than I used to, at least. You know? Yeah. Because I used to be posting twice a week very consistently for quite a while, um, trying to grow it, of course. And that was all I did. So I had I had time to make two videos a week, you know. So, although sometimes it was it was pushing it a bit, but that was part of it. You know, I was trying to grow. Um, but now I'll ride more without a camera. Yeah. I, 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 I set a goal for myself doing, you know, like you say twice a week, I was like once every two weeks mm. because I mean, for one, I'm not doing, and I thought about doing the POV as well, throwing that in there. Nobody wants to watch an old guy like me <laughs> <laughs> huffing and breathing and, 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 and 70% humidity and 90 degree weather. Can make anything interesting if you try hard enough. Man. Yeah. Just... Oh, I, I, I try. I, I, there's things going on, but I know this will never be. I, I have a friend, another friend, a YouTuber that I, I, I go, I don't know if I want to, like, uh, it's not growing fast enough. It's not this, that. And he's like, Do you have a job that pays? I'm like, Yeah. And he goes, Do you enjoy doing what you're doing? I'm like, Yeah. And he goes, Well, then why, why would you stop? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of what it, where, where you are. You're like, you'll still do it, but. And I hope to grow it later on once I sell businesses I have. Or, or even if I don't sell them, you know, I'd still own a lot of them and, and just pass all the stress off to someone else, basically. You know, so I can keep yeah. growing YouTube and all that. Or go, you know, just go travel the country for a bit. Make cool videos about that, you know. Yeah, see, that's what's so great. Time. You've got youth on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
So I'm just uh, just going one thing at a time. Well, and now now's the time for you to do it too. Yeah, because at some point life's going to kick you in the butt. Yep. <laughs> so get your fun in now. Not wasting any time. That's awesome. But back back to riding slaughter pen hands down. Yeah, uh, it's just it has the most diversity, I guess, in trails and. Um, you know, it's close to the square and, uh, you know, there's no people governing it. So there's, you don't, you won't go there and half the trails are closed because of the rain, like Kohler, uh, yeah. which people get fed up with a lot about, you know, which, I mean, there's reasons that they close the trails, but at the same time, look at Slaughter Pen. They don't close the trails. They're just fine. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, people, people can tell when their tires are getting muddy and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's time to stop riding. We can figure it out ourselves. Yep. We're mountain bikers, we know. Now, have you traveled anywhere to mountain bike or have you? Well, back when I hated mountain biking, I actually went went to, to Moab, Moab, Utah, um, which was, you know, it was extremely hot. It, I still kind of hated it, but it was, it was kind of better, of course. And then we went to Breckenridge, I believe, Colorado. And uh, went lip riding off the lift, which I actually, believe it or not, enjoyed that one. Who wouldn't? You know, yeah. You just get to go downhill. There's no pedaling. That was yeah. that's what I love, basically. You know, so um, I think that's the only two places we went mountain biking. But that was with my dad. Just you know, he loved to take us on trips. I've been to almost every state at this point. Oh wow! Yeah, he just wanted to make sure our childhoods were full of experiences and stuff. You know, same thing with my mom. But, you know, I would go to Pennsylvania every year with my mom uh, to visit family. That's where their my parents are from. So wow. Where about in Pennsylvania? It's in uh, sort of near Reading, in Pottstown, and all that. It's about an hour away from Philly. Oh, okay. So no, I just asked. I have family that my mom's from Pennsylvania, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know Pennsylvania very well. But I, I've interviewed it's, people that mountain bike there. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. It's it's amazing that I, how many different places I, I know. I, and again, I'm from Miami. There's a lot of peddling. Mm. We were talking about peddling. I go out to Jackson all every year, and, and that's where I'm like, oh, a lift. I don't have to. <laughs> why are there even cranks? <laughs> <laughs> you just put a platform. Yep. yep. That's the best. Like a stri- I ride a Strider bike down the mountain. What's that? I ride a Strider bike down the mountain. Yeah, one. You, yeah. One of those right. little uh, you, you, the, the ones that the kids are riding. Yeah, little just, kids without the pedals and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Great. Right. Um, what what's what's again? You're you're 18. Mm-hmm. Graduated high school. Mm-hmm. Mountain bike YouTuber, entrepreneur with 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 the, the clothing line, mountain bike clothing line. Yes. What, what can we expect from that clothing line? And what can we expect more for uh, for uh, NWA MTB YouTube? Man, well, I'm really just trying to convey the message of the clothing brand um, to try to get people to 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 believe in what I'm believing in with it, you know, and, and so I can keep pushing that out, having people support it. Because as soon as you have people that are dedicated to 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 you and and your brand you can finally start growing that because you got those dedicated fans uh and they're going to help grow the brand and, and more people and more people you know um so it's really about you know getting that first group of customers which i've i've, I've struggled with a bit but i think this new line is going to really help out with that what other line did you have um we had, first collection we did was the blackout collection which was um just some simple stuff conveyed the messages of the brand and all that the second thing we did was the trail system tees which are the original ones the original the original trail system ones which i have right here actually um basically just went and took a picture of a bunch of cool trails in the in in each trail system this one's slaughter pen there's a better view of it this one's slaughter pen um and we turned them into art and put them on the shirt like that. And, and, and now, are those still available? 
There are a few available of these, um, but they are limited edition. We printed our limited quantity. So once they're gone, they're gone forever. Um, and this one is still available right now. So, but there's not all sizes available because some are sold out. Um, but, you know, um, this was cool. I wanted to show what our printer could do, the capabilities, because yeah. we can print pictures on stuff, basically. Um, but now we're, you know, upgrading to the new one, which is going to be, you know, even better. I'm always striving to make things better. That's just how I am. Um, so, you know, the, the, new, the new collection is going to be out of this world. The mindset and, and it's and it's inspirational, especially I and mean, it's not just for kids. Mm -hmm. Right. I no, mean, no. The, yeah. No, this is the first thing that we're doing for kids is do the first thing you're doing for kids. But yeah, we don't mindset, have period. I mean, you've got a mindset hat. Yeah. Do you, do you, is that I mean, that I obviously, you know, would fit my head. Yeah. Well, we, we don't have hats for sale yet. But oh, OK. I, I do wear them. Um, we're still getting things figured out with that. Um, logically speaking i guess but but you want to you, you you've got the stuff for the kids and it's inspirational yeah and uh we've just got these die cut stickers here you can put it's like a bumper sticker for your car they're made okay. out of sticker or vinyl um but you know they're die cut so there's no background on them it's just yeah. the mindset which which is super awesome um because you know that'll possibly allow us to get any more i need to get these on the website i just keep forgetting to i already took pictures of them and everything but like i said i get busy and i forget but I, I, once those are out you know hopefully people will buy them and and um they're not really there for us to make a profit they're more there for that brain recognition to get out there yeah brain and, recognition you put it back people are like what's mindset let me go yeah my car google it my car has mindset around it all four directions uh, <laughs> different ways i've got vinyl put on there like by the same guy who made these um he did uh that stuff professionally so uh you know he helped me out and um you know, I've got it all over the car. I'll, I'll send some pictures maybe you'll throw them in there but at least for you to yeah. see um and they're on instagram too and all that if people want to see those yeah uh, on the then mindset. you have your own mindset Instagram or is it just yeah. on NWA MTV? No, there everything uh, is um, mindset.co. That's the username. All so right. the, with the website, you know, makes it brandable. <laughs> That's you're an inspiration itself, man. Like you're a killer mountain bike. I, we've talked more about business than yeah. mountain biking, but um, hey, I'm, this is I'm, your time. This I'm, is your time. You want to, you want to, you want to get your stuff out there. Yeah, I'm here for you, brother. Yeah. And, yeah, and and people can go on to YouTube and check you out. And I'm sure they already have and they know you. But this kid shreds, folks. Don't 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 get his like entrepreneurial mind. He's 18 and he shreds and he's and he's got a, he's got businesses. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm to boost you up, man, because yeah. I'm impressed by you. Yeah, well, you know the reason I I mentioned the business stuff more in this is because of. The mountain biking stuff that we're releasing now the, the brand wasn't originally going to be used for mountain bike we decided to go uh, away from mountain biking but uh i've kind of steered back into it because i just you know i still love the mountain biking stuff and i think there's a way to incorporate our brand into it instead of just making the trail system tees like this one yeah so i i just i i'm blown like i said when i was 18 years old i was god, god what was i doing yeah I, yeah. I gotta Even say again, beer bongs and or in college, you know, there's, you know, a lot of them are still, you know, into drinking and all that, but there's, there's just no point, yeah. you know, it, it leads to nothing good. So I don't do it. Well, dude, I don't want to take up any more of your time because I know you're busier than I've ever been in my entire life at your age. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I just, thank you so much. Thank you. I always do this wrong. I, I, I'm serious. You're my 21 interview, and I don't know which way it is. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's this way. Um, I'm going to put all his links down here, and and you you got to go on with mindset, NWAMTB, the Instagrams. You're you're incredible, brother. Thank you, and thank you for allowing me to come on here. You know, I was excited, very excited that I. You know, this is my first interview, but hopefully this really? will open up doors to there are 
a lot of people who do podcasts locally, but no one's ever reached out. So I just, I'm just you're, hanging out. So your content is incredible. Yeah. Like I, I, well, I, I, I would say it's their loss, you know, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and he's humble folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again. I can't, you know, again, all of his stuff's going to be right here, there, go to his, get stickers, get t-shirts, like, subscribe, NWA MTB. Eli Shu, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Okay.